Hi, I'm Whitney from iWire, and today we're going to go over the differences in electrical connectors so you can identify them and find a replacement if needed. Now here at iWire, we specialize in Subarus, but these tips will apply to most automotive connectors. So let's get into it. So the first thing we want to identify is whether you have a plug or receptacle. Now, what I like to do, the general rule of thumb, is the receptacle is going to receive the plug. So if there's room for something to fit into it, that's generally the receptacle. The plug side, it's a little bit harder to put something in the front, so you know it's most likely the plug. Another way to tell is what type of terminals are going into the connector. The plug is going to be the sockets, and the receptacles are going to receive the pins. Now, certain manufacturers will label them a little bit differently, um, so just take a look at your specific manufacturer. The other thing that happens a lot with plugs and receptacles is people use male and female terminology. This is generally pretty confusing for both us on the customer service side and for the customer, so we recommend avoiding the male-female terminology and going with plug and receptacle. Now that we know if it's a plug or receptacle, the next identifying factor is going to be the general shape of the plug. Now, connectors for Subaru come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. We have a triangle one, a rectangle, a flat, and even a square. So starting with the general shape is really helpful. The other thing you want to look at when you're starting with the general assessment of what connector you need is the color. Now, this isn't the end all be all because sometimes they'll make a different color or it might look a little different, but it's always a good place to start where if it's a gray plug with an orange lock, your replacement is most likely going to have a gray housing with an orange lock. Now that we have the general idea of the shape and the color, the next most important characteristic is how many pins are in the actual connector. So if you look at the back, you can see the empty slots. This one, for example, is a 10 pin. Now some have smaller, just three in a row. Some like this first one have multiple rows and columns. But the thing to note is how many holes are going into the back of the plug. Now keep in mind, this alternator plug for a Subaru actually has three holes in the back, but some uses only use two wires. So it's important to look at how many holes are actually in the back, not how many wires are being used in order to identify the correct housing. Now sometimes you'll have two connectors that are incredibly similar. They're the same shape, they're the same color, and they have the same number of pins going into the back. So what we wanna look at is the keyways. And what the keyways are, are the actual little bumps in the front where that's gonna plug into the sensor. So if you see here, we have two incredibly similar connectors, but if you look very closely, the keyways are slightly different. That's how you can tell one is a crankshaft and one is a camshaft. Same thing with our front O2 and our rear O2. If you look, they are almost identical. They have the same number of pins, same color, similar lock, but if you look really close, they have slightly different keyways, so you can tell which one is which. Um, another thing that can help if two plugs are similar is the actual location in the car. So for our front O2 and our rear O2, one's probably closer to the front and one's probably closer to the rear. So you can use your kind of deductive reasoning to figure out which one goes where. All right, so another thing that can help you identify which connector you need to replace it or fix your certain application is using the diagrams. Now, this is a little bit more specific to Subaru, but at the bottom of every Subaru wiring diagram page is a generic picture for the older years and for the newer models, a better, clearer picture of what connector it should look like with the number of pins. So that's another way to kind of get an idea of which one you need. Um, now, keep in mind, we unfortunately do not sell wiring diagrams, but you can generally find them for free online, and they're a great resource for any wiring project. Just make sure you're getting the right wiring diagram for your year and model car. So if you have an 05 WRX, make sure it's US or JDM Australian, make sure it's auto or manual. You wanna make sure you have the exact diagram for your use in order to use it to find the right connector. So in Subarus, sometimes they like to reuse the same housing for different purposes in the car. So a great example of this is in an 04 STI, we have our throttle body plug, and then we have our pedal plug. Now these are the exact same housing, and the only way you can really tell the difference is the location in the car or the wire colors. 
One of the great things about buying things from iWire is if you put in the year and model car, we'll actually custom color code it. So when you get the pigtail, when you do the install, you're just matching blue to blue, green to green, red to red into your stock harness. So you don't have to get the diagram and go, okay, what's the five volt reference? What's the different signal? What's the ground? What's the power? So it's one of the extra benefits of buying it from iWire that we take care of all that hard work for you. So another thing Subaru will do is let's say our camshaft plugs. Because they're the same type of sensor in the car, they use the same housing. But what Subaru will do, so you can tell left versus right, is they'll slightly change the color of the pigtail. So that's when those diagrams come in handy if you need to figure out exactly which side it's going to. You can tell by the slight differences in the pigtail color. Besides Subaru using the same housing for different applications, it'll actually use different housings for the same application. So a great example of this is our knock sensor. There are seven different knock sensors throughout the 20 years of Subaru, and it's very important to make sure you get the right one, because if you notice, some of them are both two pin, some of them are a single pin, some are all gray, some are black. So you wanna make sure to use all the tips and tools from earlier in this video to make sure you're finding the right replacement. Um, something that we do on the iWire website is while these are all called knock sensors, if you scroll down, you'll see the car compatibility for each connector. So when in doubt, use our configurator tool. If for some reason that connector doesn't pop up for you, use the tips, go by number of pins, the color, does it have a lock, the use, and you'll be able to find the connector you need. So thanks for watching. Those are our tips and tricks for how to identify your connector. If for some reason you're on your website and you can't find what you need, or you're just still a little confused, please reach out to us. Our email is info at iwireusa.com and you can always reach us. We'll get back to you within 24 to 48 hours, but we're here to help. Definitely check out iwireusa.com for all of your Subaru wiring needs. We have all kinds of connectors, wiring kits, upgrades for your car, great information on iWire University, and we're just here to help get your Subaru on the road. Now that you have the right tips and tools to figure out which connector you need, we also have a video on how to de-pin your connector as well as how to crimp a terminal so you have everything you need to make the replacement for your Subaru to keep it on the road. Once again, thanks so much for watching. We're so grateful that you tuned in. Please like and subscribe. Keep an eye on the channel. We have all kinds of updates all the time. And like I said, if you have any questions about your Subaru wiring, just let us know here at iWire. Like and subscribe. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, <laughs> sorry, trying to not look like garbage is the goal. You want, you want to do another clap or we're still on? Okay. Just here to bang it out. I get paid by the hour. I get paid by the hour. This is for the cold brews. <laughs> I have to stop drinking before you fell.